My dear ladies and gents, natural fibroid treatments is a very popular concept and it's not just trending. Surgery and hormone-based treatments have a range of very distressing side effects. So it's not surprising that you and many others would want to know what are the best natural fibroid treatment options to help you control or manage fibroids. The problem is alongside some genuinely helpful information that is backed by scientific evidence are a lot of less useful and even harmful advice that is proposed for fibroids. In this video, let us track some of the common myths about natural fibroids treatment. Hi, I'm Dr. Sylvia, a general practitioner and health educator. Welcome to Ask Away Health. Here we discuss health information to help you live better. And if this is right up your street, please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. And of course, you can follow us on social media at Ask Away Health on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Many natural remedies and treatments are often promoted as methods or options to cure or treat fibroids. Still, not a lot of these claims are backed by any scientific evidence. So here are some common myths about natural fibroid treatments and the actual facts. Myth number one, herbal supplements can cure fibroids. As a doctor, I have a few problems with that statement. However, before I address them, yes, some herbal supplements may indeed have beneficial health properties. We do have some evidence about the benefits of supplements like vitamin D and green tea in reducing the size of fibroids. So that is accepted in some reputable medical journals. But regarding the myth that herbal supplements can cure fibroids, First, there is no scientific evidence to suggest that these supplements can cure fibroids by themselves. Presently, the only recognized cure, that is the total eradication or removal of fibroids without a chance of them coming back, is a hysterectomy, that is the removal of the womb, the organ where fibroids originate from. However, this is not a widely accepted cure because many women with fibroids are still in the reproductive or childbearing age and they've not yet started their families. So of course that cure is not what they want. Next, a belief that often follows herbal supplements is that they are not harmful. This is not true. Just because something is termed natural or a herb doesn't mean it cannot be toxic to your organs like the liver or the kidney. In addition to the possibility that those supplements can be harmful, others can interact with other medications that you may be taking at the same time. So let's head over to myth number two. Eating a certain diet can shrink fibroids. First, as a medical practitioner, I fully support the belief that your diet could make a difference in managing your symptoms from fibroids. But this belief is, however, a clear stretch from claiming that a particular diet will shrink fibroids. There's no evidence for this. But a healthy and balanced diet promotes overall health and may reduce the risk of developing disease like fibroids. For example, a diet that is rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins and healthy fats will do this. In addition, avoiding foods that lead to inflammation may help reduce the growth of fibroids. Make sure you go ahead and click the link in the description box if you want our infogram for foods to take and avoid if you have fibroids. By eating foods that have anti-inflammatory properties, you can reduce inflammation in the body, improving fibroid symptoms. Examples are fatty fish like salmon, sardines, tuna, mackerel, nuts and seeds. Coffee or caffeine and alcohol have been shown to increase estrogen levels in the body, which may promote the growth of fibroids. Other tips for dietary changes that you can make include Increase your fiber intake. A high fiber diet can help reduce estrogen levels in the body, which may help manage symptoms of fibroids. 
choose low glycemic index foods foods high in sugar and refined carbohydrates are high gi foods and they can cause spikes in your insulin levels which may increase the risk of developing fibroids high estrogen level is a known risk factor for fibroids growth and is linked to insulin resistance and high blood sugar so let's look at myth number three which is that acupuncture can cure fibroids we recognize the value of acupuncture in helping to relieve symptoms of many health conditions including chronic pain and heavy menstrual bleeding but we don't have evidence that having one or more treatments with acupuncture can cure fibroids which is what this statement claims so if you want to consider having acupuncture treatments, it's good to be realistic about what you can or cannot expect and ensure you do your research thoroughly and find a registered practitioner to deliver your treatments. What about myth number four, which is that exercise can shrink fibroids. Keeping physically fit has overall benefit to your health and specific benefits in many health conditions. So while exercise is beneficial in this way, there is no evidence that it can actually cure or shrink fibroids. So here are the ways that exercise can make a difference if you have fibroids and is encouraged in addition to other treatment options. First, it reduces inflammation. Exercise has been shown to reduce inflammation in the body, which can help to reduce fibroid size and can help reduce the symptoms like pain and discomfort. Next, exercise improves blood flow or circulation. So exercise can help to do this, particularly to the pelvic area, which can help to alleviate the symptoms of fibroid, like heavy menstrual bleeding and cramps. And next, exercise reduces stress. Exercise is a great way to reduce stress which can positively impact hormone levels and could reduce the growth of fibroids. Also, exercise helps with weight management. Maintaining a healthy weight through regular exercise can help to reduce the risk of developing fibroids because we know obesity is a risk factor for fibroids. Exercise also increases endorphins. Being physically active helps to release endorphins. These are natural painkillers that can help to sort out those symptoms, for example, cramps and discomfort associated with fibroids. And Myth number five is that castor oil packs can cure fibroids. Have you heard that one? Now, castor oil packs are a very popular natural fibroids treatment. Women can apply these packs over their tummy and abdomen to relieve the symptoms of pelvic pain. When used like this, they help reduce inflammation and pain related to fibroids. Still, there is no evidence to suggest that they can cure or even shrink fibroids. Now, when you put on the packs, here's what can affect your fibroid symptoms. One, they stimulate blood flow. So castor oil is believed to increase blood flow to the pelvic area, which helps to reduce inflammation and alleviate those symptoms associated with fibroids, including pelvic pain and cramps. They stimulate the lymphatic system. Castor oil is also thought to be able to stimulate the lymphatic system, which can help to improve your body's immune system and support its natural detoxification process. Castor oil packs are thought to help to reduce inflammation. Castor oil itself has anti-inflammatory properties, which may help to reduce inflammation in the body and help to contribute to reducing the chance of the fibroids growing. Castor oil also breaks down tissue. So castor oil is thought to have a tissue dissolving property that may help to break down fibroid tissue and reduce its size over time. A lot of evidence and studies still required for this. Not every woman gains the same benefits from natural fibroids treatment. And this may be because we have different degrees of symptoms or other reasons. Also, there is limited evidence that these natural methods are effective in fibroids treatment. So many more studies would help us. 
Thank you so much for watching. Now, you may be considering natural fibroid options as a solution for treating your fibroid symptoms. So remember, you can reach out to me using our email health information service or our digital concierge. I will leave the link for both of these services in the description box below. If you found this video useful, please give it a like and consider sharing with a friend. And don't forget to consider subscribing to the channel. Make sure you go ahead and check out more health information videos and I will see you again soon.